Okay, now Silk Sonic's move. And the bass, man, I love the sound of the bass. It's really, really crunchy. I Whoa, come on, come on now. Come on now. Sounds so old, vintage, and new at the same time. How could it be like that? Hey folks, welcome back to Kubi Sam Music YouTube channel. My name is Yagub Saputra. I'm a composer and a jazz pianist. And today I'm gonna do yet another reaction video from Silk Sonic. Yes, this is a very brand new song from uh, Silk Sonic. It actually came out from the album that they just released a couple of weeks ago and it's called Fly As Me. But uh, up to this point, I haven't seen any music video, a visual music video from uh, this particular song. But this particular one, it actually comes from the live performance from Bad Soul Train Awards 2021. So I'm really curious about what they do with the dance and all the choreography. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You know, the chemistry between Anderson Park and Bruno Mars are so great. So I love to see the dynamic between the two because I know that this one is a little bit more rapping song that probably highlight uh, the best of Anderson Park. So I'm really, really excited about this one. But on the side notes, I just want to let you know that I've been going out into the wilderness with some of my friends and I've been trying to try to make music in an uncommon place to make music in the wilderness with very limited gear. And if you haven't already, go watch that video where we go to the wilderness and play music right on the Vasquez Rock right here in California. That will be very fun. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload the next video. So without further ado, let's listen to some music. Soul Train, yeah. Pop, wow. it's the name of the war. Ooh, the organ, love it. The bass, my goodness, I love the sound of the bass, very crunchy. And the horn, yes. Okay, 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 all right, all right. The sound is so unique already. Well, it's not unique. It's actually a, a vintage sound. They come from the 70s and the 80s, you know, with some horns. The organ is very raw. And the bass, man, I love the sound of the bass. It's really, really crunchy. And at the same time, very, there's a punch into it. There's an oomph that comes with it. Man, I love it. Look at that, people were dancing and all. Yeah! Woo. Yeah! Look at the choreography. Whoa! Come on, come on now. Come on now. And I was so captivated that I, I barely make any comments while this is a reaction video. Um, if I really, to be really honest, when I listen to music, I usually very, very focused because I want trying to uh, get the feel of it, not only get the feel of it, but I want to be able to digest it in my mind, you know? But so far, it's just so groovy that everything's just come together. If I want to cut it off somewhere, I feel like I don't do justice to the music. So man, come on, come on now. The bass, it's just, they just basically doing the... It's basically a blue scale from E minor blue scales. That's pretty much it, pretty much it. And it just sounds so old, vintage, and new at the same time. How could it be like that? That's crazy. The delay, bam, that makes the effect is even more impactful, for the lack of a better term. Yeah! Yeah! Who screamed like that? Wow, I wanna hear it again. Oh, Bruno did! Nice! One more time? Yeah, hell yeah. Okay, now Silk Sonic's move like a man. Float like a butterfly on every single track. In the only language that I speak, girl, it's back. So once I get this game, mm. I can take it back. There's a bomb, there's a, there's a, uh, a riding bass, and then suddenly there's a, 
uh, there's a chord that just give a space, a sense of space and harmony. That's what makes the music keep rolling. You know, it's not just like bass all over the place, you know, bass line and all. But there's a harmony that comes underneath, back and forth. That's what make, makes the music much more interesting. And it gives a good layer for Anderson Park to rap his heart off. <laughs> Yeah, you feel that pause. Yeah, you feel that pause. Hear it again. Woo. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Nice. So catchy, the trumpet. I mean, the breast. Actually, probably the, the scream was actually embedded into the arrangement. It actually makes a lot of sense. It seems like if there is no scream like that, they're probably supposed to be like a, an organ scream, like rah, like that. But it's perfectly substituted by Bruno Mars, which just makes a lot more sense. Two, three, four, three. The flat line. Ah, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm ahead of whole band of Miss Ellen. Yeah, if you don't know what we're talking about, that's a session. He's just listening, going to spell it out. Yeah, you ain't never seen nobody this. It's like we back in school again. Now come out. This song is definitely for Anderson Puck to shine, to showcase his talent in a rapping. It's shown, and then he delivers. He delivers, I think. <clears throat> Come on. Get up, go. I deserve to be Ooh. With A different vibe, somebody different batting. Tension of yield up. Oh, extend it. Ooh, you're waiting for the drop here. Woo! Love it. They extend the, the, the end, and it's just a build-up of tension. Man, it feels like we wait. It's like a we were waiting for a drop, right? They didn't even break it, they didn't even break it, and it turns out they ended. To be honest, if I didn't see those little things, that little stickers from YouTube came out, I wouldn't know that it's actually the ending of the song, to be honest. I wouldn't have known. But because of the stickers, I know that's gonna be the ending. But can you imagine if you're right in the audience and listening to that, and you were waiting for the drop, and then bam, 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 boom, woo, there's a lot of impact right there. The groove is just so amazing. There's one thing that really, really caught my attention is they tried to bring back the old memories of the 70s, 80s, Earth, Wind and & Fire, and all those kind of sound. But at the same time, they really, really have their own unique sound that I couldn't even pinpoint where it was. But definitely, there's some, some touch of newness in there. It's not a recreation, a total, uh, a total reenactment of uh, what 70 sounds like. There's something about it that we can say that this is a 2021 type of music for some reason. And I just don't know what it is just yet. So I probably just need to stand back, you know, just trying to dissect it little by little. But overall, I enjoyed so much. I hope you enjoyed it too. If you like this video, let me know what you like about this music. And really, really put in the comment anything that you don't agree with me. If you agree with me, let me know what you agree with me. And if you don't agree with me, let me know what you don't agree with me. I'm here to learn as much as I 
deliver some value to you guys. Well, thank you so much guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to this channel, and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload the next video. Well, thank you so much guys for hanging out with me today. I'll see you next time.